There's something really special about being called to doing what God calls you to do. It's a level of complete trust and yielding and abandonment. And we had to, but we also choose to. And I think there's just something really powerful about that. After we had two biological kids, we felt like God was putting it on our heart to adopt. And then one day, Sutton, who was three, told us that he had had these dreams about a sibling, and that sibling was coming. And he had no idea we were adopting. And then one day, we just randomly got this phone call saying that we'd been matched to a healthy baby boy. It was a little bit of a roller coaster ride, but God taught us so much in that, just in the nature of yielding and trusting Him. And we look back now, and like that little boy is is something. The boys just accepted Him; they loved Him, and life just became really crazy with three little boys. With Caleb's adoption, we needed to raise a lot of funds. And so in addition to getting the LifeSong matching grant, LifeSong provided a platform called My Story where you could crowdfund online. And we were really just blown away by how many people gave. It was such a blessing to us and it made fundraising really easy. As time went on, we've always known that more than likely we would do this again because that was still the calling in our lives. And then Sutton started having dreams again. And he came to us and said, I've been dreaming of a sister. And in every dream, she gets a little bit older. And he said, her adoption is going to be free. We decided that you know a good logical next step would be to just reach out to the Filipino orphanage, whom we trusted. In talking to them, just one day out of nowhere, they told us about a girl that had come into care that had a really traumatic past. Her name was Madeline. We had no plans to adopt a teenager, and we committed to pray for Madeline for a family for her. But the more we prayed for her, the more we realized that she was our daughter. Time was of the essence because there was, was it six months left before she would actually age out of the system. And so we were just hoping and praying that our application would be processed before she would age out, because once she was aged out, it was too late, there was no recourse. I was so scared to be alone, and I wanted to feel the love of a family. I was praying that God will give me a mom who will love me for who I am. When all of this was happening, my mom had just been diagnosed with two stage four cancers, just out of nowhere. We were in the midst of trying to pursue Madeline, but my mom was, was dying. We didn't have a lot of money to fund her adoption, and I had quit my job in order to help take care of my mom. And I remember sitting on my front porch, just crying out to God, like, is this what you really want us to do? But we just had to keep walking in faith, and He would provide. I remember coming out of a doctor's appointment and I had a voicemail and it was from Carla at Life Song and she said we'd received a matching grant for our adoption, which was incredible. But then she also said that an anonymous donor decided to fully fund our entire adoption and had written a check for over $20,000 to make up the complete difference. And we were just really just blown away. God took care of that entire burden, just just like that. So five or six months after we were approved, we got to travel to the Philippines to go meet and bring our daughter home. I realized then how much God loves me. I was like, God, you know that this is your way of reminding me that they are actually my family and you chose them just for me. He loves me more than anyone could ever love me and that's why he put me in a loving place for me to realize that he's always there. He's always been there for me. Yeah, adoption for us makes no sense 
if we don't look at it in the framework of the gospel. And we have to be okay with being imperfect. But thankfully, we get to look up to a Holy Father who is perfect. And He invites us into His family in spite of, of all our blemishes, in spite of all of our imperfections. We want to live with an eternal perspective. Bringing a child home is, is their past becomes our past, but their future also becomes our future. We are a family now. This is God's story. It's not my story, it's not Jennifer's story, it's not Madeline's story. It's God's story and He happens to invite us into it to show His redemption, to show His goodness.